2023. Do not allow Nigeria to fall into the wrong hands. Finally, me want. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. As Nigeria prepare for the 2023 general elections, the immediate past governor of Africa State, Dr. Kayade Fayemi, has warned that the country should not be allowed to fall into the wrong hands. Fayemi issued the warning when hosting the All Progressive Congress APC State Publicity Secretaries in the Southwest region of the country. He remarked that Nigeria should do everything in their part to guarantee that the country keeps traveling down the path of stability, prosperity, and grandeur. Fahimi assured that he was prepared to lead campaigns to accept victory for the candidates of his party in the general election of 2023. Fahimi made history as the first governor in Kansas State to hand over to his successor. As a, retrogressive, as a progressive party comprised of astute and patriotic members, we must make sure that nothing is overlooked in the effort to mobilize support for our presidential candidates as Siwaji Bola and Med Tenebro, who is unquestionably the best among the field of candidates vying to succeed President Muhammad Buhari in office. Come May 2023, we are equipped to run an effective campaign for presidential candidates and other contenders particularly the presidential races up for grabs. The state publicity secretaries had earlier referred to Fayemi as an emeritus governor who had rendered meritorious service to his state and nation. Despite finishing his two terms as governor as required by the law, the ex-Ekitih Hems man was exhorted by his policies to continue contributing more of himself to Nigeria and mankind in general. The praised ex choice governor to give up his desire to lead the nation in favor and supporting Asiwaji Bola and Metinibu, who finally won the party's nomination for president as patriotic and statesman like. Recall that a former minister of solid minerals abruptly withdrew from the All Progressive Congress presidential primary and declared the support for Senator Tunibu. Since then, the former minister has been working tirelessly to ensure Tunibu's victory in the 2023 presidential election. The declaration of a recently resigned governor of Ekiti State as an emeritus governor in recognition of his high profile leadership, which was marked by multiple accomplishments and an impressive record of service to the nation, was the highlight of the court's visit. Honorable Tunde Ola Dunjoye Ogun Shegun Dikpe Ekiti Alex Kalejayi Ondo Adunla Oyewoli Oshun and Olawali Sadari Oyo were among the party publicists present at the meeting. Sheyi Oladejo Lagos was sadly absent, according to Vanguard report. Okay, um, so the former governor of Fiji State, come as I can talk to make people make sure say they don't make mistakes. They don't draw our hands for ye. I like the way we draw our hands for ye, Sha. Nigerians, the ball is certainly in our court. This is not a time to be super. The ball is in a court. Hmm? Hmm. So let us make sure we do it. I think he's trying to pass a message if you ask me. We cannot fall into the wrong hands twice. The reason why the old progressive Congress wrong has taught us a lesson to learn. And that is why it is our turn. The Nigerians turn to decide and vote for the right, correct, and competent hands. Exactly. Exactly. Let us make sure we do the needful. Let us not bring sentiment when doing it at all. Okay? We are already in the wrong hand. That is why you must not continue to be in the wrong hand. Wisdom. Okay? Whenever APC is about to head about vote wisely or vote out the bad leaders, don't let Nigeria fall into the wrong hands. All of them begin to shake. But why are they afraid? <laughs> Please leave me alone. Did you do the right thing when Ekiti State fell into your hand? Shame on you. Ekiti, was, Ekiti State was there and has not failed. Why did you hit the truth with passion? I don't understand. He's just asking if you did the right thing when Ekiti State fell into your hand. He did not say Ekiti State failed. Can we stop reading with a lot of, you know, um, oh, wow. Okay. Wrong hand already with economy and security is in sorry state. Back of rice under your all progressive congress skyrocketed to fifty thousand. 
God help us. Well, that is why I'm saying, if now you know better, you do better. Sometimes in the past, you're like, you don't know better. Now, you know better. Please do better. Okay, you said the wrong pace when you shamelessly stepped down during the All Progressive Congress primary. I'm not going to leave these people. <laughs> hey. Oh. Okay. Um. Let me say this. Uh. Let me say this now. Uh, uh, Mr. Fayemi of Ekiti State. He first of all said Nigerian should... Me Let me read it because to me, it'd be like saying the password message. He first of all said he has issued a warning that the country should not be allowed to fall into wrong hands. Fayemi issued the warning when hosting the All Progressive Congress APC State Publicity Secretaries in the southwest region of the country. He remarked that Nigeria should do everything on the line, do everything in their part to guarantee the country keeps traveling down the path of stability, prosperity, and grandeur. Fahimi assured them that he was prepared to lead campaigns to ensure victory for his party. Do you understand? He did not say vote for APC. How are people saying this? He did not say vote for you know, he, he did not say that. Hey, wisdom no go kill some people, Sha. But my own is at the end of the day, Nigerians, even before they come outside to tell you, we should know what to do. We should know how to go about it. And we should know um, what to do, how to go about it. And we should know how to do it as well. Hmm? We should know how to do it as well. Okay. Um, wrong, okay, uh, somebody is saying medicine after death. I don't think it's medicine after death issue. As far as it will never start to the campaign, I don't think it's medicine after death. Hmm? I don't think. Nigerians still have the opportunity, whether we like it or not. People are saying it's small, you know, it might not be enough and all of that. As in people are saying, um, people are saying, how do I even say it? How do I say it? People are saying it is, you know, those who are supporting a particular political party. They're actually little. It's not going to, they're not enough, you know, to take back power. But Nigerians, let us do what? Stand behind the person who we think we are, is capable of, you know in the election and not come to the fact listen to those people that always say oh you know you need this and you need that to win the election nigerians at the end of the day the ball is in our court and they have warned us to make sure we do not allow this country to fall into the wrong hands let us vote wisely come 2023 okay on this note we've come to the end of the news we say thank you for turning it